But if you can lose all that fear and anger and everything and go into this sort of cold place where you just deal with the problem, when it's a real emergency, then you can be effective again. I started off where I do form really slowly and I had some success with that but not much, I couldn't really get anything. The thing that changed Wing Chun for me was when I started to do the standing meditation when Chu Shong Ting goes to do that. And the thing with that is that you think, okay, I can, I'll just go and stand. I heard about it, I thought, good, I'll go downstairs and I'll stand for an hour. And I lasted for five minutes and my brain was screaming at me, my body started to hurt, I got bored, it was just terrible. And it took me a long time before I could just stand motionless for an hour. And I think you have to wait it out and frustrate the brain enough that it gives up and lets your subconscious take over. And then once that happens, you can, you can do things like the form that, you can feel things happening, you feel your body. It, it, to me, it feels like it's easiest to explain it as a trance. It's not, it's not knowledge that you learn and then apply by repetition. It's more like you go into a certain state that enables your body to draw on all the things that reflexes and things that you've learned. That trance feeling that I just talked about gives you the kind of detachment you need to be able to fight. The problem, what goes wrong in fighting, in my experience, is that people become too attached to what they're doing. They'll either lose their temper and tense up, or they get scared and tense up. But if you can lose all that fear and anger and everything and go into this sort of cold place where you just deal with the problem, when it's a real emergency, then you can be effective again. If someone's on ice and they um, go crazy, five cops try and hold them down and he's a skinny little guy and he throws five cops across the room. You know, things like that happen all the time when people either go mad for various reasons. But ice is a good example because if you analyse it, he hasn't learned how to fight, he hasn't got physically stronger, he hasn't put on mass, but somehow he has this superhuman strength. The only thing that's changed is something in his brain. That's the only thing that's changed. So a chemical can make this change in your brain and I believe that you can do the same thing with a lot of training with Wing Chun. You can access that same thing that gives you the fight or flight response and you move in a way that's really powerful. It's not that, you know, it's not that your muscles are more powerful, it's that you just, as you go to move something, everything moves off your centre. I changed the way I learned after a while rather than trying to slot things into where they should be and trying to arrange it in my mind, I let the back of my mind absorb it. It was sort of like, um, like going to France to learn French and just trying to speak it rather than swatting. You know, I think it's a more effective way. It still takes a very long time to do though.